Hi everyone, this is Corey Boatwright and I appreciate uh, another chance to be able to talk with you guys. I wanted to put together a really quick video um, and I want to give you a really valuable short sale tip. You know, this is something that you probably haven't even heard of until now. And you can just take this tip and you don't need my system. You don't need our people to do any of the short sale deals for you, even though we'd love to do that. But this is something you could take and just apply it to your short sale business right away. And this one little tip is probably going to give you about a 25 to 30 percent increase on at least your communication with the loss mitigator. And I think that that's probably one of the biggest frustrations, if you're really honest with yourself doing short sales, is getting in touch and, and actually dealing with the correct person at the bank. So here's what the tip is, and this one's a really, really good one. When you're dealing with the loss mitigators, often they will tell you that they will not give you their email address, right? Those of you doing short sales, you know that's true. However, they will give you their first and last name. Now here's the trick. Here's the part that's really exciting. What you want to do is you always want to get the middle initial of the loss mitigator. Okay? Here's why. When you are dealing with these banks, um, you're going to find that uh, some of the banks actually have an email address made for when you send in pictures. So it's not to get in touch with the loss mitigator, but it's to send in pictures of the property. Well, when you find out what that URL is, which whatever domain it is, so for example, I'll just give you one. For Wells Fargo, it's, let's say Bob Jones is your loss mitigator. It's, it'd be Bob dot middle initial, let's say it's A, Bob dot A dot Jones at Wells Fargo dot com. Bob.a.jones at wellsfargo.com. That would be his email address. Let me give you a few more. For City Mortgage, which that's a really popular one, it's also going to have the first name of the loss mitigator, the middle initial, and the last name, and it's going to have a dot. So again, it would be Bob.a.jones at city, C -I -T -I, dot com at citycity.com. Let me give you just a few more. Countrywide, that one's a really uh, big one. Uh, we, we deal with them a lot. They're a little different. They have an underscore and they don't even use the middle initial. So, for example, it would be Bob underscore Jones at countrywide.com. Bob underscore Jones at countrywide.com. Let me give you one more. Uh, and I got tons of these, but let me give you another one. This one's really good. And this is actually a two for one. Um, GMAC and Homecomings. GMAC is going to be the first name dot the last name. So it does not have the middle initial. So Peter, well, and this one would be Bob dot Jones. Right? Bob dot Jones at, and for GMAC, it's GMAC ResCap. R-E-S-C-A-P dot com. Uh, G-M-A-C, ResCap, R-E-S-C-A-P dot com. And Homecomings is actually the same thing. Homecomings and G-M-A-C are actually the same. You know, I wanted to give you um, just something that you can take with you right now, that you can use right away. And I promise you, if you do this, what's going to happen is the better, you're going to have a better shot of getting in touch with the loss mitigator when you email them compared to doing anything else. Calling, even faxing. Faxing is pretty effective too at times, but email is far and away the best way to do this. And so now I just gave you a really great tip so you can get more short sales done. So I hope you guys join the webinar and uh, it's going to be really exciting. So we'll go over a lot of other things too. But there's just a little tip for you. So I hope you use it.